guys. Nice hair. Thank you. How are we all feeling today? You can give me some comments now while we're waiting because we're going to be a few minutes before we start. Um, grand numbers are jumping up already. So as most of you already know, my name is Paul. Um, I'll be doing the exercise with you today. Just for anyone that's here now, all you're going to need is some dumbbells. If you haven't got dumbbells, bottles of water. Um, if you haven't got a bottle of water, just something you can use as a small weight for the exercise class. Um, Martina, David, hello. Che, Stephanie, Liz, Michelle, right, okay, loads of people jumping into them this morning. If you let me know where you're watching from as well, I'll give you a shout out. Um, again, what I was just saying there, if you have some dumbbells to use for this exercise class, brilliant. There's gonna be a bit of strength work today. If you don't have dumbbells to use, water, a sweeping brush, anything that you can just use for a little bit of weight. Carol again, hey Carol. Um, I think this is Carol's eighth or ninth session in a row as well. Muscles should be sore by now, I'd say. Um, if you have been doing the exercise for the last couple of days as well, let me know how many you've done in a row. Um, let us know how you're getting on as well because we really like to hear feedback. We have Che in Virginia and Cavan. Hello. Dennis from Wicklow. Dennis has been here for a few of the sessions as well, which is great. You see numbers are jumping up as well, Liz. Hello. Guys, please forgive me if the echo in the room is bad. Uh, it's an empty room. Um, so if the audio is bad, I tend to babble on a lot, so you might not notice. Um, the audio might not be great at some point. Who else have we got? Sylvia, and Cod, hey Anne. Cora, hey Cora, I know Cora for one of the exercises class that I do. Julie, good morning. Peg, good morning. My oh my, there's a lot of people jumping on today. Catherine again, hey Catherine Craig. It's great to see everyone coming back. Um, hold on, we're not right yet on the camera. I think it's a little bit angled down right here, having to bend down. Now, I hope the lighting is okay as well. Um, bit of night blindness there with the, the window right next to me. Who else have we got? Steel Blue Ireland. Ah, Deborah's mum is here as well. Hey, Deirdre. And then there's a Dolores McGuire, Jenna O'Leary, Neil Ryan. Well done, guys. Excellent, Sheila. Sheila's seventh day doing it. Susan, how are you, Susan? Edna as well. Carla's Carol, mum. Hey, Edna. So, guys, just a quick um, introduction again. Paul is my name. Today, if you can, you're going to need some dumbbells, bottles of water, two tins of beans. Anything you want to do it with, the heavier the, the weight, the harder the exercise is going to be. So if you want to get something light, that's fine. If you want to get something heavy, that's fine. Um, we're going to start doing a small little warm up now, just while people are, are joining in as well. So we're going to need to fall down. So we're going to work a lot on the upper body today as well. So all we're going to do at the start, I want you to stretch the arms out in front. I want you to try to pull the arms back to the shoulders and reach in front. And guys, you know the drill by now. If you want, you can do this seated. And if you want, you can do it standing, but I'm probably going to do most of it standing as well. Now, Trish, hey Trish. I know Trish from a, a class I used to teach a couple of years back as well. Good to hear from you, Trish. So just warming up the shoulders. I want you to just go forward and back and up and down. And we have Pat as well. Hey Pat, Pat from Ray, I know Pat as well. I want you to just go one out, one up, and just loosen out the arms, loosen out the shoulders. Excellent. And then we're just going to bring the arms down and then just go directly out to the side and back down again. Just to loosen the shoulders out, different ranges of motion. Excellent. And then I want you just to do a little bit of movement like we're climbing a white ladder. So climbing up, reaching up, and relax. Now just roll the shoulders, small little circles. The numbers are still jumping up as well, so just give everyone a chance to join in, grab their weights if they have weights. Excellent. So this is low exercise. His arms by the side and a stretch down and a stretch down. Excellent. So just arms by the side, reach as low as you can. And again, guys, if you're in the chair, there's no difference to the movement. Just stretching side to side. Excellent. We have a 
Sally Clark, hey Sally, watching from Black Rock. And we have uh, a Gemma Dignam. I don't know Gemma. Hey Gemma. Excellent. And then I want you just to turn the head side to side, just stretching the neck. Pretend you're uh, sailing away and you can look left to right. And then just roll the head and the neck in circles, just to loosen out the joints. As I said, there's going to be a bit of weight today as well, so we're going to be pressing the weight overhead. So you want to loosen out the neck joint, just change direction. And here we go, here we go. Cora, Derek. Hiya, Cora. Hey, Derek. Now, so are we ready to start the exercise? There's a few, a fair few people have to join them in. We're live about six minutes now, so that's perfect. Um, today we're going to do some circuit exercises, not different to what you've been doing with the rest of the guys. Um, a lot of different exercises today. If the exercises are too easy, do the harder version. Likewise, if the exercises are too hard, do the easy version. So I'm going to do the majority of them standing, but I'll demonstrate them seated. So again, you're going to need, if you have, a set of dumbbells. Again, if you don't have dumbbells, um, two bottles of water, two tins of peas, you can even use a sweeping brush if you want it, or a, anything that's small. Even if you only want to use a little pillow, it's absolutely fine. We have uh, Breeder Fay and Deborah as well. Deborah, said hello to your mom already, dear, is here. Um, yeah, so let's just get started straight away. First exercise is going to be the bicep curl. So I want you to bring weight to the front. Again, if you're sitting, it's down here. We're going to go single arm at a time. So you're going to go one arm at a time. So if we all start together, curl the weight up to the shoulder. Excellent. Keep the other arm here resting, holding the weight as well. Excellent, and then I want you just to change arms. So staying with me, crawl up and down. Try not to go any faster or any slower. Try to stay with the pace, but if I am going too quick, just slow down. So we're just gonna do our first exercise, and then we're gonna bring the two arms together. So same exercise, two arms together. Just so you turn to the side, you see full extension of the arms, bringing them right down, and then all the way up to the shoulder. Excellent. Concentrate on the breathing. Should be starting to feel it in the arms a little bit now. Just two more. Last one. And relax. Excellent. That's exercise one. Exercise two is going to be a squat and press. So you can hold the weights in front. You can do a squat. And as you come up from your squat, you press overhead. Now, if that's too difficult, use your chair. Do a sit to stand and a press. And if that's still too difficult, you do your two legs up and then a press. And if, again, if that's even still too difficult, you can just do the press, okay? So we're gonna work together. So get ready, so pick which one you're gonna do. I'm gonna go for the squat and press. So ready, down, press. Down, press. Concentrate on the breathing. It's important to concentrate, especially because we're pushing the weight overhead. If you can't reach overhead, just reach as high as you can. If you're finding it too hard to use the two dumbbells, just use the one. And you can come down, alternate in between. But I want you to try to use the two. So again, concentrate on the breathing. Deep breaths, push up. Get your squat in. Use the chair if you need to use the chair. Or if you're sitting in the chair, make sure to get the legs up nice and high. Excellent, concentrate on the breathing. Nice deep squat, press it up, two more, down, up, and then the last one. And relax. That's exercise two. I'm a little bit out of breath already. And exercise three, using the dumbbells again. This time it's going to be a front brace. So turn your palms down, rest them on the legs, and you're going to try to get them in line with the shoulders and back down. So just so you can see it from the front. In line with the shoulders, back down. If you're sitting down, same thing, straight arms, in line with the shoulders, and back down. If it's too hard to use the two weights and you want to try it, with a weight, just do one at a time. So once you're ready, I'll go from the side of you. We're going to start with one arm like we did with the bicep curl. So we're going 10 on the one arm, so same arm, in line with the shoulder, and bring it back down. So concentrate on the movement. Perfect. And then I want you to 
a change arm, so opposite arm. Just in line with the shoulder as high as you can get it. Just change direction. Perfect. In line with the shoulder, down to the leg. And then just to finish off our torrid exercise, two arms together. In line with the shoulder and down. So notice that the speed that I'm going, pushing up in line with the shoulders, lower down slowly. It's important to squeeze the weights here. Really work the shoulders. Down slow. That's it. Three more. Two. Can you do one more? Just one more. And relax. Excellent. This can be a four step of water break. So if you have weights, just put them down somewhere. Safely. Um, I have a table here as well, just so I don't have to constantly bend down and pick up the weight. So if somebody has something nice and high, they can put their weights on. If you have water, take a little sip here as well. Morning, Kay Morby. Morning, Mary Young. Excellent. It's good to see people are still commenting. But if you're typing, you shouldn't be, because you should be a bit tired now. So, quick sip of water. We're going to do that circuit again straight away as well. So this is going to be a tough one today. Just catch your breath while you get a couple of seconds. Excellent, well done. And during the break guys, if you do comment, just let me know how you're getting on. If it is too hard, if it's slow down, there's a lot of work in that, especially with the weights. Now we did that little circuit in about three or four minutes. We're gonna go again. Eileen, good morning. Now guys, grab your weights again. Perfect. I'm going to do this round sitting, but everyone told me to do the last round standing, so you should know what we're doing. So we go again. Palms facing up. We're going to do the bicep curl with one arm at a time. So let's all work together. So join in if you can. Great so far. Great workout. Well done, guys. Thanks for feedback. So we'll do an extra few reps to give you a chance to pick up your weight. Just with the one arm. Curl up to the shoulder, down to the leg. Excellent. Let's change arms if we're ready. Up to the shoulder, down to the leg. Remember, if you can, you're doing this standing, you don't have to sit down. I'm just going to do a round sitting down so everyone can see the variation if they get tired. So curl up and down. Just going between 10 and 12 reps. And let's do the two arms together. So let's curl up and down. A little bit slower with the two arms requires a little bit more effort using the tummy muscles. Sitting up tall, concentrate on the breathing. Curl up and down. Excellent. Two more. And relax. Perfect, guys. Exercise one. Moving into exercise two is going to be our squat and press. So for this one, I'm going to do a sit to stand, pressing up and down, bringing the weights all the way down, giving you a chance. To go. So remember, if you're not using a chair, you're just doing a squat and a press. And if you can come out of the chair with weights in your hand, you do leg raises and a press. So let's work together. If you can, join straight in from here. Again, we're working between 10, 12, or 15 reps. So if I'm going too quick, take your time. Just do as many as you can. And remember, take a rest if you need it. Well done. So I have a nice little handy round now. Legs up and down. And relax. Perfect. That was exercise two. Moving into exercise three, if you remember, was the front raise. But again, I'm going to do it from the seated position, but just so I can see it. Get it in line with the shoulders and back down. So you're ready. Arms straight or as straight as you can get them. Start with one arm at a time. In line with the shoulder. So you really feel the burn. Hold your weight. Excellent. Concentrate on the breathing. In line with the shoulder, down with the leg. We're gonna change arms now. Perfect, guys, well done. Pushing up. Concentrate on the breathing again. It's gonna get hit harder as we go on. Let's go with the two arms together if we can. Down. 
To make it easier, you can rest the weight on the legs in between. To make it harder, you can stop them before they hit the legs, keeping the tension on the shoulders. Well done, just three more. Three, two, and one, and relax. Well done. This is your second water break, so again, put your weights down. Grab your water, sip it. Anne McGuire says it's a great workout. Catching Craig good so far. And Pauline Douglas, good morning. Morning, Pauline. So again, you're just gonna get about 30 seconds. We're gonna jump into the next, next little circuit. We're flying through this already. Unfortunately, we're gonna do that same circuit once more, just to really work, so. By now you should know whether you're doing it seated or standing. You should know the order of the exercises so we don't have to do too much demonstration. Patrick says it's a good workout. Well done, Patrick. So again, just concentrating your breathing between the rest periods. Laura Mackey, I'm doing great. Thanks, Laura, I hope you were doing great as well. And guys, I know I say it every time, but if you can get somebody to take a little snippet or a little video or a picture of you doing it and send it in to us, it's just great to see. Um, gonna grab the weights again. So again, last round for this same circuit. I'm gonna do this one standing this time. So give everyone a chance to grab their weights. When you're ready, weight for the sides, turn to the front. And if you remember, we start with one arm at a time. So let's crawl shoulder down. And just so you can see the side view, I'm not resting it on my leg. I'm just bringing it down in line with the hip and back up. So just one arm at a time. Concentrate on squeezing the weight. And we're gonna change arms. So Derek had a bit of trouble logging in, but he's better late than ever. You missed a few hard exercises, Derek. But sure look, you can always do them at the end. So curl up and down, one arm. Remember, palm facing forward, as close as you can to the shoulder, bringing it down to the hip. And let's move to the two arms. When you're ready, a little bit more work. Squeeze. Excellent, again, side view, so you can squeeze up, lower down. Perfect, trying to get it in line with the hips each time. Just five more, breathe. Excellent. Three, two, and one. Excellent, that's exercise one. Moving straight into exercise two, no messing this time. We're doing the squat and press. So remember, just for Derek, you joined in late. Derek, for this one, if you want, you can do a leg raise and then a press. If not, it's a sit to stand with a press or the advanced version, squat and press. So straight in, guys, if you can, squat, press. Reaching those weights as high as you can. If your weights are getting too heavy, one arm at a time, alternating in between. So again, down, up. So working the shoulders and the legs. And again, concentrate on the breathing truck. Get a little bit harder for me to talk now because the exercises are getting a bit harder. The body's getting tired. Excellent, just three more. One, two, last one, and Three, excellent. Guys, put the weights down for a second, taking a little water break. We're gonna go into a different circuit now, so we're gonna give you a full minute, just so not, people know I'm not cheating with time. Full minute. Concentrate on the breathing, fill the lungs. I know there's a few people out there with COVD watching this, so you know the deep belly breathing, pores the lips. Slow the heart rate down. Again, sip the water. Don't go up, but just sip it. Well done, guys. About halfway through the rest already. And again, if I am working too quick, just take a little bit of extra rest and join in then after. And remember, these videos are live, but you can watch them again after. So if you can't keep up or you're finding that's enough for me for now, just log off and then jump back on later on. But do comment and let us know how you're getting on, even if you do a workout later on.
This is going to be a tough one to do again today, but if you get it a little bit of time later on, give it a go again. And there's your full minute up. Right, that's it, no more rest. Next circuit, where are we going? Ah, wait again. Hold on. Now, so what we're going to do, we did the bicep curl, so we worked the bicep muscle, now we're going to work the tricep muscle. So you're doing the same type of exercise, but instead of the arms facing that way, they're facing this way. So we're going to show you one arm curling up and down, but using the opposite way. And then we'll swap arms, and then we'll do the two arms together. Again, seated, same thing. Palms facing down, this time you're working bending at the elbow. Okay, we'll all work together. And we go at the same time, so all the way up and down. Again, watch the side view. It's the elbow that does the work. You're not driving the elbow back and forth. It stays close to the body. You should feel like getting heavy on the tricep muscle. Down towards the leg and back up. Then we're going to switch arms. Same thing. Elbow stays close to the body. Get as close to the shoulder as you can. As close to the leg as you can. And again, concentrate on the breathing. Perfect. Take your time with it. I'm just going to move to the front for the last one. We do the two arms together. Much harder. Might have to work a little slower. Remember, you're using weights, bottles of water. If you don't want to use a weight, you can do this exercise without the weight as well. It's going to get hard because we're doing it three times. Concentrate on your breathing. Hold on. Hold on, two more. Nine and ten. Excellent. Again, tough exercise. The arms should be really feeling now. You're working opposing muscles. Moving into our squat and press, but this time instead of pressing up, we're going to press out. So, very similar to the last circuit, this time you're going to squat and press out in front. Again, you can use the chair. And do a sit to stand, press when you're standing, or if you're staying in the chair, legs up, legs down, press. Okay? So again, I'm going to do the squat version, go to the side so you can make sure I'm getting down low enough. And go. So squat, press. Squat, press. Excellent. So I know how to do squats, they know you should go nice and low, nice and deep as much as you're comfortable. Squeeze the leg muscles as you're doing it. Equally, if you're doing it in the chair, it's going to be tough. Excellent. Just barely tipping the bum off the chair. Or if you need that little rest to sit down, sit up and press. Two more. And the squeaky chair, so I won't be using that. And relax. That's exercise two. Moving into exercise three. The lateral raise. So the last time we did front raise, this time we're doing lateral raise or side raise. I'll do the side view so you get to see. Standing up tall, one arm in line with the shoulder and back down. So just move that one arm at a time. Again, keep it in line with the shoulder. This one does get very, very heavy because you're pulling the weight away from your body. Again, you're always standing up tall. Again, working somewhere between 10 to 15 reps, but trying to stay with me if you can. We're going to swap arms. If you can't get the weight in line with your shoulder, just go as high as you can. But trying to get it with the shoulder, take a little rest if you need it. Excellent. You get a little rest after this exercise, guys, so keep going. It's going to be tough. You're going to feel the burn on this one. One more. And then we're going to try the two arms together. So the shoulders are already tired. Directly out to the side. Lower them back in. I know my arms are going out of the frame there. But if you can see. The arms are getting in line with the shoulder. As close as they can get. Controlling the weight in. There's five. Just five more. Deep breaths. Three. Two. And can you give me one more? Just one more. And relax. Again, say hello and wave goodbye to these weights for a minute. Warm break. So again guys, 
I'm getting tired, so you should be getting tired. But if you're getting too tired, maybe you regress the exercises or choose the seated version. Um, but if you're well able for the standing versions, you should be doing the standing versions. If I'm going too fast, slow it down. If I'm going too slow, feel free to tell me and speed it up. Again, only sip the water. Concentrate on the breathing now during the break. Deep breaths. A bit of active recovery, so just walking around as well so that the muscles don't seize up. Again, we're on a little break, so if anyone wants to send me a message, let me know how to get on. We're flying through the exercises. That one's tough as well because I'm working very similar muscles, similar exercises. Angela Doyle says she's enjoying this class. Great, Angela. And guys, let me know who's using what weights as well. Is anyone using heavy weights, light weights? What, what are you using from around the house? Are you using water? Are some people using beer, wine? Let me know your poison. Let me grab these weights again. Right, we're gonna go straight into the next one. Again, if I'm speeding up too quick, slow down, just take your time. Reverse curl, so one arm, up, down. So again, we're gonna put a strict 10 this time. Up and down. We're trying to get it close to the shoulder, down towards the leg. Just concentrate on your breathing. And swap arms. So people let me know. If people using one kilo, people using 2.5, that's great. I don't know if you can see, but mine are uh, 10 kilo. And I'm sure you know that's a terrible joke. Excellent, so keep it going. Soup cans, excellent, Dennis, well done. That's 10 there as well. If we're all typing, we're not doing the exercise. So let's do the two together if we can. Someone else had trouble logging in, Sheila, but she's using tinned beans. One kilo weight, 450 grams of tinned beans. Very heavy, well done Kay. And Gemma Digdon, well done Paul, great class, well done. And relax, exercise one done. Again, moving into the squat and the chest press, okay? So straight away, not 30 kilo there. So squatting down, pressing out. Squatting down, pressing out. Remember, if you need to use the chair, absolutely fine to do a squat and a press. Excellent. So just keep working, squat as low as you can and press. Remember, if you're not squatting, you're lifting those legs in the chair. Two legs together if you can. Press. Three more. Just gonna get an extra few reps in here because we're all sending comments. And relax. Well done, and again, last one, the lateral raise. We're gonna start with single arm, arm on the side, directly in line with the shoulder, back down. Again, concentrate on your breathing, bring it in line with the shoulder, lower it down. And let's change arms. So again, in line with the shoulder, down by the side. Just take your time. If you can't get it in line with the shoulder, you know the drill. Just go as high as you can, that's comfortable. Two more. Let's go from the front. Out to the side, back down. Just so you know, there's no cheating. Out to the side, back down. Excellent. Thanks, Rachel. So, Rachel, just let me know that there's staff and residents in the nursing home doing this exercise program, so that's pretty good. I hope they're all using weights as well. Three more. Three, two, and one. Let's put those weights down. Have a little sip of water, concentrate on the breathing, so hands on the stomach. 
into the nose, out to the mouth, just take a little rest. Excellent guys. We're going to do that one once more. And then we're going to do one more circuit as a finish. That's it. So do the circuit once and then we'll do a little bit of a cardio finisher. And then we're done for today. And that's just because I'm running out of water. Now, a little bit late coming in. Don't worry, Elizabeth. When this finishes, just press play again on the Facebook and start it from the start again. Jackie, great to get the exercise. Well done, Jackie. So guys, when you're ready, grab those weights again. So you can see 10 kilo. But just pick whatever works for you, whether it's a small tin of beans or a heavy weight. I'm sure some people are using heavier than me as well. Um, even send us a picture of what you're using as well. That'd be great to see. Send it to the Facebook page. So again, last one. Forgot what we're doing. Reverse crawl. So arms down, one arm at a time. Bringing those knuckles towards shoulder. Keeping the elbow still. Concentrating on your breathing. Excellent. Swap arms if you can. Up and down. So your palms should be facing forward. Holding on to the weight nice and tight. You squeeze the weight. Makes it a little bit harder on the muscles. Yes, Grace, you can watch it later. This is the live version, but you can watch it again once it finishes. And rest it down. Let's do the two together if you can. So up to the shoulder, down to the leg. Take your time. Up, down. Great after walking around the house 10 times. Hold on, Gabrielle. I hope it's not a big house. Excellent. Up and down. Take your time. Concentrate on the breathing. We're nearly there now. This is the last circuit with the weights. And next exercise, I'm going to jump straight into it. Squat, press in front. Remember, if you're in the chair, legs up, press in front. Legs up, press in front. Just take your time. We're gonna jump back into this one. Squat, press. Squat, press. Hold up. Squat, press. Concentrate on the breathing. Get the squat as low as you can that you're comfortable. Well done, and again, with the squat, I always add in a few extra little reps. I'm not working the legs too hard today. We might as well do a little bit of extra work as it's the last one. One more. Well done, into the lat raise. So again, arms to the side, up and down. So we're nearly there. So concentrate on your breathing. Stretch up as high as you can. Down towards the leg. Well done, nearly there. Keep that same arm working. In line with the shoulder. Perfect. Change arms. Hold on to the weight nice and tight. If you can't get it in line with the shoulder, just as high as you can, it's comfortable. Deep breaths. Nearly there. Excellent. And if you can, two arms together. This is where it's going to get really hard. Two arms together. So again, do your best to get it in line with the shoulders. Remember, if you're in the chair, no difference. In line with the shoulders and down. Just keep it working. If it's too hard, you can swap back the single arm. Just make sure you alternate, but just keep going. Nearly there. We do five from here. Five. Four. Not didn't breathe. We're jumping. Three. Two. One. And relax. Hold on. Put your weights down again, guys. That's low, Connor. Love it. Thanks, that up. Just sip the water, guys. Again. Deep breaths. Excellent, we're nearly finished. So just for any of the latecomers that came in, we did two different circuits there, three exercises in each, and did three rounds of each. 
um, and we're going to finish off with a little bit of a cardio one just to get the heart rate up so the weights first then we'll do a cardio one now just to finish off so good news for everybody there's only three exercises left the bad news is we're going to do it three times as well so just no weights this time and um, so i'll just quickly talk you through it so you have three exercise choices you have a jumping jack if you don't want to do any jumping you just do a step and a reach so a side jack and if you're in the chair you can do just the legs or legs and arms completely up to you next exercise after that will be toe touches so reaching down to either side now i said toe touches but even if you touch the knee or the shin on both sides absolutely fine so it looks like this in the chair so we're working those arms still and then the third exercise will be a nice jog like this if you can get the knees higher it's harder or in the chair same thing hold the chair knees up and down so three rounds of each we're going to do 30 seconds of each exercise we're not going to rest in between unless we need to rest that's the key so we're going to try keep it going as much as you can but if you need to rest take the rest so start three deep breaths we have a lisa o'brien lisa you're very late joining in but very welcome right 30 seconds and go so jumping jacks if you're doing jumping jacks you can do side jacks or you can do it in the chair so just concentrate and keep it moving it's really hard to do this with no music as well so again we're just going 30 seconds so keep going if you can if i'm moving too quick slow down well done guys and that's 30 seconds toe touches so reaching down as low as you can so i'm going to sit down for this one just so everyone can see reaching down turn in the eyes with the hand again it's just going to be 30 seconds important to concentrate on the breathing a lot less talking now a lot more working Now we're going to change exercise, we're going to the sprint by the high knees. So again, it's just 30 seconds, concentrate on that breathing, get the legs working. Excellent, just 10 seconds left, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, back to the jumping jacks again, so it's going to be tough. Excellent. I'm going to shorten the time from 30 seconds to 20 seconds. So keep it working. Concentrate on your breathing. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Toe touches, arms coming down, reaching as low as you can. Remember, concentrate on your breathing. Especially now as we're doing some cardio work. That's a lot harder. Excellent. Change exercise to the sprint. Remember it's just 20 seconds now. We're nearly there. So if I get those knees high, I'm a little bit cheating now. I'm probably working a little bit harder. Five. Four, three, two, one. Last round, just 10 seconds of everything. Go. Excellent. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Toe touches, we're nearly there. Stretching down. If you had to stop, sorry for working you so hard. If you're still going, well done. Three, two, one. One and just 10 seconds of a sprint. So give it everything you have. Keep the legs working. Knees are high. Five, four, three, two, 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 and one. 
actually sweating a little bit after that. So guys, gonna do a quick cool down now. Start with some breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Hi Inga, and Lisa's trying to fit it in in between work. Thanks Lisa. Excellent, just concentrate on your breathing. And we might as well give a shout out to all the guys working in the health system, doing a great job. Uh, I know a lot of us are working from home. Those guys that are on the front line, hopefully to get some rest by now, very, very soon. Now, see that you still can't count. <laughs> Paddy and Monica. Never learned how to count, guys. We're gonna do a seated cool down now. If anyone wants to do it standing, they can, but I'm gonna go over the chairs. I'm going to just take one leg out in front, we're going to try to straighten that leg as best as we can. If you want, you can bring a hand under the leg, and I want you just to point your toe forward, pull the toe back, get a little stretch. So keep doing that stretch for me, toe forward, toe back. Hard to sit halfway through the cardio, but oh, you had to sit. <laughs> well done, Carl, at least you tried it. And then do it your eighth day in a row. So toe forward, toe back. Change exercise, straighten the leg. Toe forward, toe back. Just take your time, guys. Slow the breathing down. Remember, hands under the leg if you need it. Now don't bring it down. Bring one knee up, just as high as you can. Don't worry about putting it all the way up. You can get it off the ground. Watch the ankle. Hold the knee still. Ankle circles. So just loosen out the ankle. Keep that going for me. Jumping jacks finished me. <laughs> Well done, Kay. Fair play to you for doing the jumping jacks. They're very hard. I was only going to do half jacks for this. So we might as well go a little bit harder today. And leg down. Opposite knee up. Hold it still. Ankle circles. Nice and slow, nice and easy. Again, concentrating your breathing. Well done to everybody who participated. Well done for everyone who tried any of the exercises. Because even the easier versions were quite hard, especially using weights. Excellent, we're just going to do a little stretch in the back, so if you are sitting down, open out the legs a little bit, reach the arms out in front, and push your body forward. And just hold it there, you're just getting a little stretch on the lower back. And then very, very slowly, sitting up tall, pull those thumbs to the shoulders, or as close as you can, squeezing your shoulder blades. Again, we're still concentrating on our breathing the whole time. Push the arms out, lean forward, hold it there. Deep breaths. And come on back. Thumbs to shoulders. Hold it there. And now we did a fair bit of work on the shoulders with the weights today, so we'll do a little bit of attention on our stretches. Two shoulders up, and I want you to hold them up. Now don't hold your breath, just hold the shoulders up. I'm just coming a little bit closer so you can see, so make sure you shrug them all the way up. Let's just drop them down nice and slow, relax. And again. Up nice and high, so really push those shoulders up. Concentrate on your breathing, bringing them down. Let's just move it to a shoulder roll. So again, side view so you can see. Try and roll them in the biggest circle that you can do. Keep the arms by the side. If it is easier for you to use the elbows you can, just roll them around. So guys, we're gonna finish up very, very shortly now. So if there's any parting comments that you wanna do, Type them in now. Just change direction, roll them the opposite way. Again, well done to everybody who did the exercises. Um, the more feedback you give us, the better. Let us know if you're liking the content, the way we're changing it. Let us know who your favorite trainers are. No pressure. Excellent, just moving back to the shoulders again. This time I want you to bring hands together and reach up as high as you can. If you can get those arms straight, even better, if not, just as high as you can. You're still gonna feel the strain on your shoulders. So stretching up. Again, we're concentrating on the breathing. Let's bring them down. Fabulous workout from Deirdre. Brilliant from Julie. Thanks guys, jumping jacks done me in, but good work out there. I promise the next time I'm on, give me no jumping jacks. And arms down, and we'll just do that one once more. Hands together. Big, big stretch up. 
Susan, it's our second week. Well done, Susan. And down. Right, guys, that's enough for me, enough for you. Um, again, thanks to everybody who joined in. Linda, hard today, but good. Yeah, again, they're going to be harder and easier different days. Just wanted to bring in some strength exercises. Um, tomorrow's class might be around balance. So if anyone struggles with balance, it'd be a great class to do. Um, I don't know if most of you have seen, but at nine o'clock in the morning, um, one of our trainers, Marguerite, is putting out an exercise challenge to do. I'd suggest give it a go and let us know how you're getting on because it, it's just another way of getting exercise in during the day. But again, guys, thanks very much. All the comments are coming in now. Thanks very much. Um, I'm gonna go now, I'll comment back myself on the page just so that I'm not wasting any more time. Well done again, everybody. Final time, I'll say hello and wave goodbye.